take a look at setting MIDI volume levels in Cakewalk Pro Audio 9. And this applies to all MIDI programs that uh, you may encounter. MIDI is universal. So right now we're looking at the piano roll. And this is just a piano chord progression that I uh, put together in tune track, easy keys. Just to show you what we're dealing with here. So the very first thing we want to look at is the volume that's shown on the main page. And there is your volume right here. Now right now it's showing blank. I'm just going to type in 100. And I'm going to put the pan in the center so that's going to be 64. And we're going to just take a look at the events. And you can see all of the notes here. There's three things that we have to consider when setting the MIDI volumes in a MIDI file. Number one is volume. Number two is velocity. And number three is expression. So there's three elements that control your volume. It's quite easy to set your volume here on the opening page. And that's set quite low. Look at that at 30. If I hit the parentheses keys, I can bring it up by tens. So I'll bring it up to 100. So that's probably the one that everybody is familiar with. That's on the opening page and that's your volume control. You can also set your volume control here in the events list. I'm going to hit this note with the insert key and I'm going to create two notes the same. But I'm going to hit the enter key on the kind of event and I'm going to change it to controller. And I'm going to bring it back to bar two and I'm going to change it to a seven. Number seven is your volume controller. So if I set this to 30, watch what happens. I have this set to 30, but I have the main page set to 100. I'll always remember that these controller messages in the events list take precedent and they override the, the front page. So if I set this to 127, that is the highest MIDI can go. See what happens. That takes it up to a volume of 127. Now if we just take this 100 and drop it, it will control the volume. But the minute I start the song and roll it back to the beginning, that controller message takes over. So it's back up to 127. Everybody understand that now? So this one here, I try to remove all the volume messages, the starting volume message in the MIDI files. I like to control it on this front page because I like to see it. So there is a volume message right there. And that's the way I like to control things is right on this. Now the other thing we have to look at are the velocities. The velocities of this little piano track are set very low. 
if we highlight the track, Control F10, it highlights all the all of the uh, notes. We can increase these these uh, velocities by going up to Edit and going to Scale Velocity. We want to bring them up by 10%. We put in 110. So we're adding 10% to each note, but we have to click on the percentage. So just take a look at this 42 right here. That jumps up to 46. So we can raise the velocities or the volume inside the elements or the uh, events list. We can do that again. These are set quite low. Scale velocity. It remembers what we've done, 110, 110, so we're adding 10% to each number. So let's give this a listen now. So that's another way that we can control the overall volume of a track. And you can do this for each individual track, or you can do it all together in one shot. So scale velocity, going to add another 10%. There we go. So that increases the volume. So we've just looked at two methods of increasing the volume. The actual volume itself and the velocity of the notes in the track. And there's one other method that we can use to control volume, and that's called expression. So we're going to get back here. We're going to insert that note. We're going to double it, but we're going to change it to a controller message. This time, we're going to change it to 11. And this is expression. The highest expression is 127. That's the maximum. So we're looking at the volume, the velocity, and the expression. So we're going to go back up, and we're going to drop this expression to 75. The reason you want all these different methods at your disposal is that you can do fade-ins, fade-outs. You can uh, do a lot of different um, transitions throughout a song, throughout a MIDI file to soften up parts. You can just add an expression controller anywhere in the track. So we can put that at any bar we want. We're going to go to bar six. I'm going to open that up. I'm going to see this note right here. I'm going to hit insert. And you can see that it's a new note has been formed here, but we're going to change it to a controller. And it's going to be 11 for this example expression. I'm going to change it to 85. We're going to come back up to the top. We're going to make this 127. So it's at 127 with all of our velocities. Now watch what's going to happen right here. It's actually dropped down to 85, so it has softened up. We'll make that a little more drastic. Twenty-seven expression. Listen here. So it's dropped it way down. Okay, that was extreme. I just wanted to show you how that that takes place. So when you're setting up a MIDI file, you don't have to just use this volume control. You can put volume messages in the events. You can change the velocity of the notes up or down from 0 to 127. 
and you can also use the expression. I'm going to show you a little trick here that we can use. I'm going to put in a marker, F11. I'm going to highlight this little end. I'm going to come up to Insert Series of Controllers. And I like to use expression, not volume on this. It's going to begin at 110 and it's going to end at zero. And it's going to go between bar 10 and bar 12, 12 and a half. Okay, I'm going to hit OK. You can see what's taking place here. Let's give this a listen. So I should have got, gotten rid of this. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to just hit the delete key. I'm going to get rid of that expression that was in the middle. So I just did a quick fade out there to show you that's another way you can control volume. I like to use the expression at the end of a song rather than volume because sometimes the volume levels are all over the place and it's hard to get it uh, consistent. So please uh, visit us at uh, Cakewalk MIDI King on Facebook. We exchange a lot of MIDI files there and we have a lot of uh, tutorials and a lot of interaction. So this is Europa Man over and out.